Van Winkle. Van Winkle. Wagner. Walsh. Yeah. Oh, Katie. You know, I was just saying to your friend Barbara, all of my favorite friends are dropping by the office this evening, but they're all uninvited. Did you really think I was going to fall for her act in here? I knew something fishy was up the minute she came into my office. Well, oh, John, I was just leaving anyway. What are you trying to pill for this what? time now? What is this? What? Yeah, John, give me that. Why? It's your own personal give those to medical me. I records. I wanted these back. You had no right to make a copy of this, John. You had absolutely no right to do that. Why are you chortling? Don't you know where your money goes? What? You paid for the computer yourself. Every patient in this hospital, the medical records goes into the computer. If I want a copy, I just call them up and they run off a duplicate for oh, me. Just no, like you're that. lying. You think so? Let me show you how it works, okay? Hello, Mary. It's Dr. Dixon. Yeah, thank you. Mary, listen, uh, I, need a, I need a complete copy of uh, Lucinda Walsh's medical records. How soon can I get that? By tomorrow? Well, that sounds fine. Thank you very much, Mary. Goodbye. You miserable scum. You know, what I can understand is what, what is so important in these records that you... John, I just don't want you to... I don't want you to have your hands on anything of mine. And you stay out of this or you're going to regret it. You're giving me advice, huh? Let me give you some advice. I hear from Dusty that Lily is not very happy. Don't talk to me about my daughter. You already have one daughter that's not talking to you. Why don't you go home and take care of the other one before she does the same? Because at the rate you're going, you're not going to win Mother of the Year. Oh, I can't believe this. You know, I, I can't really see it. Would you do it? Yeah, okay. Uh, Meg, calm down. Why, why are you getting so uh, upset about it? Well, it's Ivis Blouse. She doesn't know I borrowed it. And, well, is it coming out? Yeah. Um, I think you should finish, okay? Good thing I was working late. Yeah, yeah I, I think you ought to stop wearing her clothes. It'd be better for your nerves. Oh, look, it's not coming out. It needs more soap. Really, you could see it better than me. Please. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't... I... Well. Oh, oh, hi, Meg. Hi, hi, Dusty. Hi. How are you doing, Dusty? Hi. Oh, hey, go of me! Let me! Oh, let me! Let me go! What's the matter with you? Stop, Stop it! Get away! Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, Just Fred. stay away! It's... Stay away from me! It's not Doug. It's Jay. It's Jay. It's Jay. Puritan oil. More than cholesterol free, Puritan is low in saturated fats. Yay, Another yay. school play? Uh huh. Are you the lead? Better. Then you better yeah. clean up your act. Huh? Stage blood, makeup, chocolate cream pie. Oh no. Act two, the laundry room. 
All in the same temperature? It's all one costume. But they're different clothes. So? So, this shirt goes in hot, these pants in warm, and this grubby vest goes in colder fades. Three detergents? Just one, all temperature cheer. See, hot, warm, cold. This and cold? All temperature cheer. Hey, everything's clean! You're not the hero and you're not the villain. I thought you had a lead role. Better, I'm the lead horn. Nay, uh, nay! <laughs> Three temperatures, one great clean. That's today's all-temperature cheer. Morning, decaffeinated drinkers. The day's looking new and bright. It is. And you're gonna start it right. I am. Cause there's Folgers for you that's decaffeinated too. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Mornings are brighter with mountain-grown Folgers decaffeinated because mountain-grown coffee has more enticing aroma. The best When my husband decided to cut down on saturated fat and cholesterol for his health, I made some changes in our diet. One was to remove the fat from chicken. Another was to use Puritan oil. It has less saturated fat than corn oil and most vegetable oils. Look, when frozen, the leading vegetable oil hardens and traps the tomato. It has more saturated and other fats. Puritan lets the tomato fall. It has less of these fats. Puritan's great for preparing a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol to help reduce serum cholesterol. And that may help lower my family's risk of heart disease. Try cholesterol-free Puritan with less saturated fat than most leading oils. I think it's important to cut down on saturated fat. Don't you? I thought that Jay was... was Douglas. I... I thought that you were... were Doug. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's not your fault. It's me. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so sorry. It's, I... it's fine, Branny. I mean... Okay, my name, I need to come all, home to you. It's all right, my it just seems... I understand. It seems so real. I know, darling. It's like oh, a dream. I think I need... Shh, I, think I need so to be so alone. I need to take this. Jay came in and she seemed really excited to see him and then all of a sudden she just started screaming and backing away. I put my arms around her. That's when she got upset. Well, she's still reliving everything that happened with Douglas. The same thing happened when Dr. Dixon came by to pick up Andy. Well, that explains the phone call I got from John Dixon. Kim, I, I heard you'd been in the hospital. I hope you're all right, Don. Oh, yes, I am. Thank you. I'm fine. Uh, Dr. Chapin talked to Marsha Talbot. Her lawyer's coming in tomorrow. Look, I'd like to ask Franny a couple of questions if uh, she's feeling up. Roy, I'd appreciate it if you'd put that off. She's very upset right now. I understand. It, it can wait. Jay, it seems that uh, I owe you an apology. How come? Well, Marsha Talbot admitted that um, while Cummings was setting up Kevin, she was doing the same to you. I only wish Kevin was here so I could apologize to him, too. Oh, Meg, uh, where's Mama? Um, she had to go to the bank and do some errands in Oakdale. Mind if I call home? No, no, not at all. No. What are you doing home so early? Well, actually, it got a little too cold on the site. So Steve and I thought we'd finish up right here. Oh. So, uh, Dusty, where's Lily? She's probably at home. Oh. No answer. You know, I don't mind you wearing my clothes. I just wish you'd ask first. Oh, I'm sorry, I. That's just... Well, I wanted to look nice. Yeah, I think I know why, too. Uh, Dusty. Dusty, why don't you give Lily a call and ask her to come over to supper? Well, well no. Actually, Dusty and I, we were planning a party. We're going to surprise her. Well, you can do that later. I'm sure Lily would love to come over for supper. Well, she's probably having dinner with her mom. Or she's at the stables with Holden. You know, he's tutoring her, remember? Well, I'm sure they're finished by now, so why don't you give her a call? Okay, sure. The schedule's for the cabinet line, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're right over here. Let me see. Weasel. He's a weasel. Oh, no, he caught you. I did oh, everything Barbara. I could to keep him down here. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't. Oh, no. Oh, Lucinda. Oh, darling, Rex, how are you? I'm glad I ran into you. Excuse me, we're going to have to talk about your Martin Guest scholarship and choosing a new recipient. I don't know what you're talking about, Rex. Oh, I'm assuming that Sierra talked to you already. 
No, Sierra hasn't talked to me. Now, what has happened now? Well, she came by my office today and said she wasn't going to accept the scholarship. She did? Yes, and she didn't give a reason either. And I know she's still applying for pre-med at Oakdale University. Well, give me a call when you can. Oh. I hope I'm not prying, but I have noticed there's some kind of trouble between you and Sierra. Oh, Barbara. If you'd like to talk about it. Why shouldn't you know? Half of Oakdale knows. Sierra Esteban is my daughter. She's my long-lost daughter. I had to leave her when she was a little baby, and I did it. I had reasons to do it. You have a child. You understand. I understand better than you know. And there are reasons why I could not tell her the truth. And John Dixon found out about it. He used that information to get favors from me, and then he went and he told her anyway, just out of spite. Well, it's your man. Hello, Larry. Uh, Dr. Dixon again. Yeah. Listen, Mary, I know I told you that tomorrow would be soon enough on that file, but I was wondering if you could do me a favor and uh, run me off a copy this evening. Lucinda Walsh, that's right. Oh, thank you very much, Mary. I'll be waiting here in my office. Bye-bye. you that I love my pine cleaner. We challenged Mrs. Rubin to test her pine cleaner against Spick and Span Pine to see which would clean toughest bathtub grime the best. The winner, Spick and Span Pine. There is no doubt that it is the most effective thing that I have seen. And it deodorizes and disinfects too. I'm more than willing to change to Spick and Span Pine because it's proved to me that it works the best. Spick and Span Pine. Among leading pines, it's the best for cleaning bathrooms or our name isn't Spick and Span. No more excuses for spots. Spots? The kids probably unloaded the dishwasher. Maybe she air dried the dishes. I think she borrowed them. Louise, these are a little... <coughs> I air dried these dishes. No more excuses for spots. New improved Cascade fights spots better than ever. Under tough conditions like air drying, other leading brands can leave spots. Cascade's advanced sheeting action leaves dishes virtually spotless. Let's start this dinner over with new improved Cascade. I'm starving. What's for dinner? Everything looks wonderful. She must have worked all day. Louise, this is beautiful. <laughs> Even when you air dry, there's no excuse for spots with new improved Cascade, regular or lemon scent. Your mother should be down shortly. Oh, uh, thank you, Martha. I was kind of hoping that we'd um, save up our nest egg and spend it on something like an addition to the cottage in basic blue or pink. You haven't forgotten our phone conversation, have you? No. I just wasn't sure if you were serious or uh, just a little homesick. I was serious. Don't tell me you've changed your mind. Tom, I'm sorry it took me so long, but I, um, uh, Tom? Uh, oh. Sorry, Mom, don't pay any attention to me. I seem to be in the ozone tonight. Oh, dear. Thinking about Margo, huh? Yep. I gotta find her, Mom. Uh, oh, uh, look at you. <laughs> what are you all dressed up for? Oh, well, I'm, uh, Earl Mitchell is taking me out to dinner. <laughs> What's this look on your face? Uh, uh, nothing. I'm just a little surprised. I mean, what do you know about this guy? Well, he's Shannon's uncle. Besides that he's Shannon's <laughs> uncle, Mom. Well, he's 
He's charming, and he's so handsome, and he's witty and sophisticated, and he makes me laugh. Makes you laugh. <laughs> yes. Oh, look, Tom, we're just going to dinner. Okay. What did you hear about uh, Caroline's? Anything new? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am sure the state's going to put it up for auction, so I'm going to draw up a bid for you and Craig in the next couple of days, all right? Oh, good. That's wonderful. Oh, don't tell Barbara, hmm? Why not? Because, don't you remember, Craig told us that Lucinda was trying to buy Caroline's. Right. And Barbara and Lucinda are, they're very thick these uh, days. It yes. just seems like... Oh, well, Barbara's so impressed by her. You know, the, mm -hmm. the rich, successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. And I do not want this to happen to Barbara. I don't want her to grow up. To, <laughs> well, I don't want her to end up being like Lucinda. Oh, okay. there he is. That's all. That's all. I feel so silly. Why? <laughs> Going out to dinner. He's taking me to my own restaurant. <laughs> oh, you're having dinner at Diana's. Well, of course, darling. It's the best place in town. Oh, it's the best place in town. Excuse me, Mrs. Nicole. Miss Ryan is here. Hello. Hi. Uh, I thought you were in New York. I decided not to go. Brian couldn't go, and so I called Jerry, did our business over the phone, and saved myself a trip. Oh. Yes, I, I know why Brian couldn't go. Brian couldn't go because uh, he decided he wanted to stay here and work things out with Shannon. How do you know that? He came over here just a little while ago, and he um, made a call on the phone, made reservations at Diana's for two with champagne and the works. Mrs. McCall? Yes, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, Lisa, you look beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, you've met, Bar well, of course, you know Barbara, but have you met my son, Tom? Tom, this is Barbara. Yes, we did. Right. How are you? <laughs> Your son, knock up. That's impossible. No. Well, I'm afraid it is possible, but thank you. <laughs> Your mother is simply the most charming woman I've ever met. Yes, everybody tells me that. Yeah, well, that's how it is. That's not... Uh, here, let oh, me help you. you. You know, those pearls are practically the same color as my new Jaguar. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's nothing I love better than riding around in a pretty Jag. <laughs> She's a good sport, too. Yeah. <laughs> good seeing you. Barbara? <laughs> Listen, I hope you don't have any trouble getting a, a table at Diana's. I hear it's just swamped these days. Oh, Earl, don't pay any attention to him. He's such a little twerp sometimes. Yeah, you're a twerp. <laughs> I haven't seen her that happy in a long time. Frankly, I'm surprised she's going out with him. I hear he's a common jewel thief. What? Oh, that's what Shannon told Brian. Where are you going to? I, I don't think this is Oh, not just wait, 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 wait. How could she get into trouble? They're going to Diana's. Well, I don't like it very much. Look, I was just going to ask you out to dinner anyway so we can go over some of the cosmetic firm notes that Jerry Halvern told me about. Why don't we go to Diana's and you can keep an eye on your mother? That's a good idea. But I better clean up or they're not going to let me in, whether my mother owns the place or not. <laughs> Hurry up! Yeah, I will. Oakdale Police. Uh, yes, Lieutenant McCluskey, please. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm calling as a concerned citizen. I saw an ad placed in the City Times today by a Shannon O'Hara, alias Erin Casey. Erin Casey was the woman the police were seeking in a diamond theft last fall and the murder of Ellen Stone. Yes, I'm very aware of that. We're trying to locate Miss Casey right now. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. She's going to be at Diana's restaurant in about an hour. <laughs> Why don't we just uh, cancel Diana's? Oh, Ryan, we have to eat dinner. I was thinking about to that. To celebrate. Oh, come on. I was thinking about celebrating right here. Oh, but I'm starving. We can come back early. Promise? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I never thought I would love someone so much. That dreaded emotion you've been avoiding all your life. Mm, no more. I'm sorry I didn't believe Earl was your uncle. It's just that I heard so many stories. I didn't know what to believe. No. I love you. Oh, I missed hearing you say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, careful. I don't want to get any lipstick on your collar. I'll leave that to Barbara. Hey. 
One of these days, you're going to realize she's not the wicked schemer you think she is, all right? No comment. We better go. Oh, just, just just one condition. What? No after dinner drinks at Diana's. We'll uh, have them back here, okay? Mm -hmm. You bet. <laughs> to Diana's and at dinner this evening and take along a reporter. My sources tell me that Shannon O'Hara is going to be arrested the minute that she and Brian McCall set foot in the place. Well, I'll send a photographer, too. <laughs> this will give me a chance to lift myself out of the doldrums. <laughs> uh, are you going? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Gotta run, see you there. Who's that? Oh, uh, just one of my models. Well, 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 you just look very, very handsome. Well, thank you. I feel very, very tired. So what do you say we just make this a quick dinner to talk about the licensing stuff and then uh, call it a night, huh? Sure. Good. Just a quiet little dinner for two. This is a decaffeinated coffee bean. And if you don't know how your coffee gets decaffeinated, you could be leaving a lot to chance because practically every coffee gets decaffeinated unnaturally. But not this one. It's naturally decaffeinated for pure coffee taste. Just read the label. If they don't tell you it's naturally decaffeinated, chances are they use something unnatural. Nescafe decaf. Taste your way naturally. If it's extra crunchy peanut butter for your extra special ones, you ought to know about the difference. The difference is just peanut out of your crunch. It says you mean the world to me. It's the only crunch for your special bunch with that taste for peanut. -y. She loves crunchy peanut butter with great big peanutty chunks. So it's got to be Jif. Of all the big brands, Jif Extra Crunchy's got more bigger chunks, more crunchy peanut taste. The crunchier difference in Jif. Mom, what are you doing here? It's your birthday, isn't it? Well, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> well, I am. People can't help but help themselves. They just can't help themselves. Duncan Hines Yellow Cake is irresistibly moist. See, our batter is moist, smooth, and it makes a cake so moist, it even clings to this fork. Hey, I'm This one's for you, big guy. Schmeier the best. Make your best, Duncan Hines. On Capitol, to us. they were given a second chance to love. But will it be a second chance to lose? I'm here because I shot Senator Denning. The shooting of a United States senator carries with it a sentence of one year to life in prison. If she's convicted, Jared, what am I that? In the heat of the day, on Capitol. Um, I would really love to go to dinner with you, but I promised my mother first. That's the real reason? Of course. But it might be because Dusty and I'd both be there at the same time. No. Oh. Whatever you say, ma'am. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. For tutoring? Right. Have a good dinner with your mother. Lily! Is that you, darling? Yeah, um, I'm in the living room. Oh, my darling, my Hi. darling. Put on something very festive. We're going out to Diana's for dinner. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You said you were going to have dinner alone. I need to talk to you, Mom. Well, we can talk. We'll talk at Diana's. Wait, you promised yeah. you we'd have dinner together. Well, we will. I promised. We, I didn't promise you where we were going to eat it. You know, Mom, I was really looking forward to this. I need to talk to you. Honey, we can talk. There's no logins talking at Diana's. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. 
Don't disappoint me because I really want to go. Come on. Fine, you go. But you can go without me. Lily! Lily! Oh, Lily! I wonder what's keeping Mama. Well, I guess she'll tell us when she gets here, you know. You know, Dusty, I'm really sorry uh, Mama couldn't come tonight. Yeah, she promised to have dinner with her mother. Me too. I thought you get a hold of Betsy's. Yeah, they're over at Ellen's, so she's going to have dinner over there with Danny. Well, do you want to go over there? I mean, we can finish that paperwork tomorrow, you know. No, no, I don't think she really wants me to come over there. Uh, we had a, a fight last night after you and Craig left. Well, Steve, you better go over there right now and patch things up. I can't talk in front of Ellen. I'll, uh, I'll wait until she gets home. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Mama, look at you! Yes, yes, I did, and I had a manicure, too. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you think our bull out in the barn will recognize me? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I felt so guilty. I was spending all that money. Oh, don't be oh, silly. Come on. Well, it was a wonderful present. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, you're, you're welcome. Did you find the chicken? Yes, everything's almost oh, ready. Good. Well, I feel like a lady of leisure today, my goodness. Yes, Dusty, uh, going to stay for dinner? Six. Yeah? Well, yeah, I'd love to. We just, uh... Give John a call? Well, invite him, too. Why don't I know how he get here? I have his car. You think it's all right? I think this. Oh, I don't know what I think the right time. Oh, look at that. Hi, it's Dusty. I'm at the Snyder Farm. Listen, I was wondering if I could stay for dinner. Yeah, I suppose that would be all right. Listen, I'm going to be over at Kim's. I'm going to check up on Andrew. I'll take a cab. Thanks a lot. I'm looking at you. You uh, drive carefully now. Don't forget your safety belt. Dr. Dixon. Yes. Oh, Mary. Here's a copy of the printout you wanted on the Cinder Walsh. Thank you very, very much. These computers are amazing things, aren't they? Amazing, amazing. Jay, I am so sorry. Forget it. You feel okay now? Mm-hmm. Hey, you are gonna be so much better. Come on, the doctor's gonna help you a lot, really. It seems that there's some conflict in Kim's statement and Marsha Talbot's. Well, of course there would be. Why would Marsha Talbot tell the truth? I mean, she killed Kevin when she tried to kill my daughter. Well, she's got one of the finest lawyers in the country coming in tomorrow. They'll probably go for um, temporary insanity, but I don't see how they can make that stick. Uh, she protected Cummings after she knew that he killed three people here. Well, of course, I will be very happy to talk to you about this, but can't you just leave Franny out of this? Well, I understand what she's going through. I'll make it as easy on her as I can. She's just... Hello, Dr. Hughes. Is Roy Franklin there? Lieutenant McCluskey. Oh, yes, he is. He's right here, Lieutenant. It's for you, Lieutenant McCluskey. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant, what's up? You're not going to believe this. Remember the Evelyn Stone murder case that you, Frank, and Margot couldn't crack last fall? Well, we just got a hot tip on Aaron Casey, and I thought you should be the one to make the arrest. Where is she? She's going to be at Diana's restaurant tonight, but take a partner with you. Now, she's been using the alias of Shannon O'Hara. I'm on my way. And remember, a quick dinner and then home. Don't forget. Good evening, Mr. Bacall. Good to see you, Chef. Got your table ready right this way. Thank you. It's going to be a very special evening for both of us. The champions of Rome. Their secret, a nourishing diet of wheat and rye. Today, a unique combination of those same nutritious grains is the secret to Roman meal bread. Fresh, natural whole grain goodness made to make a winner out of you. Make one meal a day a Roman meal. Look at them potatoes. Where are they going, Grandma? Mommy, what's happening? Introducing the chip that's eating all the potatoes. Pringles Ripple Potato Chips. Every can has more potatoes than before, and every chip 
triple thick to bring out the extra hearty, extra delicious taste. So eat the chip that's eating all the potatoes. Pringles Ripple Potato Chips. Well, my world was dull and gray. Hadn't felt the sun in days. Tried new citrus hill select. What a wonderful effect. And my day gets going and my juices get flowing. Citrus hill select goes right to the heart. Because the heart is where it's pure. It's my daily sunshine cure. Citrus hill select gets your juices flowing. Citrus hill select gets your juices This portion of As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Pringles Potato Chips, regular light rippled cheesums and sour cream and onion, and by delicious Citrus Hill Select Orange Juice. It gets your juices flowing. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. creator of the Waltons is at it again. He's brought young and old together to live for better. You're black, aren't you? I am. Me too. Aren't we black? What for worse? <laughs> Good night, Grandpa. Rain on you. This isn't the Waltons. Morning Star, Evening Star, coming soon. This is CBS. The New York Daily News calls it a hot new breakfast show. All it will take is for viewers to discover the new morning news team. Rediscover the CBS Morning News. In my business, if I couldn't see well enough to read, I'd be out of a job. Having my cataract removed was a career decision. But now, having a cataract problem corrected is easier than ever. Here's why. It can be done with no cost to you, no doctor's fee, no hospital fee. It doesn't even require an overnight hospital stay. And free transportation can be provided. For more information, call the Oklahoma Eye Physicians at 495-3965. Around here, the early bird gets the ego. Gently put in the ego as not to arouse any sleeping taste buds. <laughs> Cleverly divert its delicious aroma from filling their dreams with crisp golden ego waffles. Hi, Dad. Uh, What's for breakfast? Uh, nothing. <laughs> and I can have this? Oh. Let go my ego. Ego waffles from Kellogg's, part of this nutritious breakfast. Gently put in the ego. Pride in Tulsa. Pick it up. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Hello, Brian. Good evening, Uncle Earl. <laughs> uh, what did we do to deserve this? Huh? Escorting the two most beautiful women in the room. <laughs> what did I do to deserve you and your party? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but have a nice evening. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy to see them together again. Oh, is that why you look so radiant? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> oh, let's talk about you for a change. Oh, what do you want to know? Oh, anything in the world you want to tell me. You have such a fascinating life. You want to know my secrets? Oh, yes, yeah, I do. Well, I never dwell on the past, uh, live in the now, and I, I love for the moment, the magic of the moment to happen. I just <laughs> let it happen. Feel it. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. I can... Oh, rats. What's wrong? Our moment has just been spoiled. Good evening, Mr. Ambrose. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have a reservation? No, we don't. But I, I'm sure you can find a I table for us. I think there's something we can do. Don, would you take care of it? I see somebody at the bar. <laughs> you, know, you know what to do? Yes, Miss Walsh. Good. Have you spotted the bra? Sure. Yeah, she's over there. Ah. Mm. To us. No more secrets, no more fights, just a peaceful future together. <laughs> I'm glad we came. Well, keep your eyes peeled. The fuzz will be here imminently. You sure will, Miss Walsh. Right. <laughs> They're finding us a table. Can I ask you a question? Of course you may, my darling. Why the sudden dinner invitation? I thought you were giving dinner to Lily. Well, plans change, Ambrose. We're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> I promise. Oh, 
Holden. I'm so worried about you. Sorry I'm late, Mama. It's okay. I had to walk Lily home from the stables. How you doing, Steve? Holden, hi. What's up, Holden? Holden, don't be mad at me, okay? I was only kidding this morning. Oh, come on, don't get quiet on me. You're the only one who understands me. Okay, Meg. You just don't interfere with my life. I don't interfere with yours. Okay? Oh, Steve, you've done such a wonderful job on the barn and the silo. I can't tell you what a difference it makes. <laughs> oh, well, look, I'm just sorry that we haven't finished that yet. I've just been so busy with the, uh, with the condo job. No rush. Oh, now, don't let him off the hook. That's your Christmas present. Come on, now. I bet she hasn't even seen her Christmas present. Yet. Listen, everyone, why don't we all sit down? Everything's ready. Steve, why don't you sit down? And here? Dusty, you can sit over here. That was wonderful. Hi. Thank you. I hope it's okay. Uh, my mom canceled out, so... Lily, is everything all right? Yeah, fine. Uh... Come on over here. You come on here. You sit next to uh, Dusty and Meg. Why don't you come over here and sit next to your big sister? And take this towel off. <gasps> Meg, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you? I'll get it clean. I'll get it clean. Can I just say something? Meg, would you say grace, please? Ambrose Darling. Earl Mitchell. Ambrose Bingham, my attorney. So it was nice to meet a good lawyer. Thank you. Oh. Well, Lucinda, I must say, it's a shock to see you here two nights in a row. Unfortunately, it couldn't be helped. <laughs> Speaking about unfortunate, I had the misfortune today of uh, running into some reporters. Uh, I'm sure they're from your paper. <laughs> they were just uh, camped out on the porch of the Hughes house, just like vultures waiting for the kill. Mrs. McCall, mm -hmm. let's make a deal. You don't tell me how to run my newspaper, and I won't tell you how to run your restaurant. Though someone should. <laughs> oh, how I despise her. I, um, sensed some ill feeling. Oh, yes, it's been going on for quite some time, but I'm sure you don't want to be warned with all that. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well... Lucinda, at one time, was married to a man by the name of Martin Guest. About 12 years ago, he committed suicide. And she blamed my late husband, Whit McCall, for that, because he called in some overdue uh, loans. I don't think that would make Martin Guest kill himself, but old Lucinda blamed Whit for it. So therefore, and she was cruel to him, and we have just despised each other ever since. Now, enough of all of that. Let's get back to talking about living at the moment, you said. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> oh, Earl, I am just so happy to see Brian and Shannon. They are, they're in their own little world. <laughs> now, it's my turn to make a toast to you. But all I can think of is that I love you. Would you like to skip dinner and continue this conversation at home? It's his daughter. Hello, Mom. Hi there, darling. Hello. Hello. Oh, what brings you here? Uh, business. I thought we could discuss a little Simply Barbara over dinner, and I thought that Tom needed some cheering up. Oh, well, I'm glad that's what you thought. <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll meet you at the table, okay, Tom? All right. Well, have fun. <laughs> Shannon, you look absolutely lovely. Oh, well, thank you, Barbara. So do you. Hello. I, I wish you could have seen Brian's face earlier when he saw that adorable ad you ran in the City Times. He was so surprised. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a surprise every once in a while. I've had a few myself lately. And I'm sure you'll have more. Oh. Life is full of surprises. <laughs> well, enjoy your dinner, all right? Bye now. Mm -hmm. She's so friendly. Come on. I'm telling you, you're wrong about her. She likes you. She likes you. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. There she is. Aaron Casey? You also use the name Shannon O'Hare? 
nonsense. Hey, what is what's this? this? You're under arrest. Would you come with us quietly, please? What's going on here? Calm down. Take it easy. Knock the camera off. Come on. Come on, don't hold a grudge. Look, I didn't know that Alpo beef flavored dinner cost the same as those other dry dog foods. I didn't, I never even looked. I mean, who would have thought that Alpo, the one with more meat protein and 10 pounds of sirloin, cost the same as those others? Tell you what, you forgive me, and I'll forget about what you did to my shoes, huh? Alpo beef flavored dinner, real meat protein at a really good price. I can't let painful corn stop me. Thanks, Free Zone, for taking them away. Ordinary pads cover corns. Free Zone goes to the core of the corn, dissolves it away painlessly and effectively. Thanks, Free Zone. An ingrown toenail doesn't keep me on the bench. Outgrow relieves my pain in minutes. Only Outgrow has a local anesthetic to temporarily relieve pain, reduces swelling without affecting the shape, growth, or position of the nail. Outgrow relieves ingrown toenail pain in minutes. Constipation is disaster, and that is, that's the honest truth. Gene Wright talks about constipation and Dulcolax laxatives. I can depend on Dulcolax because it takes care of my constipation problems in a, a gentle, easy way. My doctor suggested that I try Dulcolax, and I did, and I was very happy. Dulcolax suppositories can work in 15 minutes to one hour. Dulcolax tablets predictably overnight. I wake up in the morning, and I get complete relief. Dulcolax brightens my day. Only one of these non-stick surfaces is genuine Silverstone. The other is a look-alike. Only one has been tested, approved, and certified durable by DuPont. Only one is number one among non-sticks. The problem is, how do you know which is the Silverstone and which is the look-alike? By insisting on the Silverstone seal. Because only this seal proves it's real. Silverstone, signed, sealed, certified durable by DuPont. You're under arrest, gentlemen. We're transporting contraband. I want you to leave. Leave. Look, hey, are you from the city times or what? I want you on it, Looks like Brian. Nancy and I have set up the buffet in the dining room, so why don't you all go in and get yourselves a little something to eat? Right? Okay. Great let's idea. Go ahead and I'm oh, yeah, come, come on, on. Now. Let's go get some food. Hey, you guys, there's some fantastic food out there. Uh, am I uh, the only one eating? We're on our way. We're on our way. All right. Hey, you want me to bring you something up? Uh, no, honey, not right now. But uh, as a matter of fact, there's something that we should talk about. Would you uh, like to be alone? No, no, please. Listen, kiddo, I, I know that you were really uh, concerned about my going to the hospital. And the reason I went, well, I'm not sick. Actually, um, we're expecting a baby. Oh, you are? Yes, and I, I went into the hospital because I was terribly concerned that there was something wrong. But the doctor says that everything's all right with me, and thank heavens with the baby, too. I can't believe it. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I really didn't even tell Bob in the beginning. The thing is, I didn't want everybody to, uh, to worry and, and get all concerned. But now that everything's all right, well, 
I just hope you're as happy about it as we are. Well, sure I am. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Uh, and Bob, you devil. Uh, <laughs> Something else. I'm going to have a kid brother or a kid sister. Oh. Well, hopefully one or the other. Uh, Henry, in here. Yeah, yeah, Dad. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hi, John. Had your dinner yet? Uh... No. Uh, listen, uh, we're about to have something. You're welcome to join us. Well, I thought we'd go out and grab a pizza. What do you say? Yeah, I'll, I'll get my jacket. What's the matter with him? <laughs> Nothing, really. I just uh, told him that I'm pregnant. I think he's in a state of shock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he seemed happy about it and a little surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be nice if that was all he had to contend with around here. Just what is that supposed to mean? Oh, I think the whole atmosphere around here, you know? The way Franny is. You know what happened earlier today? Oh, Joan, we heard. She was hysterical. I think she was hallucinating. I really had to work at it to snap her out of it. Well, you know what she's been through, John? She's seeing Lynn Michaels tomorrow. Good. I think that's a very good idea. In the meantime, I really don't think this is the right place for oh, Andrew. Oh, for crying out, John. For heaven's sakes, Andrew is fine. He, he's handled everything that's happened very well. Nancy and Chris said that he was wonderful while I was gone. Listen, Kim, I really don't think this is the right place for him now with Franny this way. This is where his family is. He is part of a family. You can't give him that. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to drag lawyers in on this thing, but if you force me to... Don't I have anything to say about this? No right to oh, supposed to pick up every case and use a dragnet? Who is this crew? Quiet! Hold it! This is a police station. Now let's try to conduct ourselves accordingly. All right. Officer Franklin, what happened? I approached Ms. Casey, alias Ms. O'Hara, at Diana's restaurant and placed her under arrest for smuggling the tears of the crocodile diamonds and questioning in the Evelyn Stone no, murder case. I know case. nothing about the Evelyn Stone murder case. I never intended Shannon, any I mean, of... she has a right to a lawyer here, McCloskey. No, well, get out of here. Hey, lady, I advise you to get a lawyer who's not in custody. Look, I'm not going to put in charge, so... Maybe you have no... Uh, Lieutenant, if I may have a moment of your time, now I can put this matter to rest for everyone's convenience. Who are you? My name is Earl Mitchell. Now, I am the man who gave Aaron Casey the diamonds in question. Protein stains, when they're ground in, dried on, soaked all the way through, you need more power to cut through. You need the protein power of new Era Plus. Just watch. This tough grass stain is made of protein. And look, protein gets out protein. And now Era has even more power, enough to cut through and clean the ground in dirt below. Nothing gets out every stain. But now you can cut clean through with the amazing power of protein. New Era Plus. Protein power to cut clean through. Oh, your fire alarm chili is hot stuff. Yeah, but how do we get rid of the grease with a hose? <sighs> Looky, we use Dawn. Dawn scatters grease, clears it away like a house of fire, helps keep it away. Aha! Look what I found in your boot. Wash that? After all those greasy dishes? Yep. Looks as clean as the first. You're learning, Rookie. Ooh. And my hands don't feel greasy. So, what's on the menu for tomorrow night? An old family recipe. Swedish meatball. <laughs> and Dawn takes grease out of your way. Introducing a major breakthrough in dryness. New Ultra Pampers. The diaper accepted by the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Associates and Practitioners. These professionals have declared... Ultra Pampers is proven effective in keeping skin dry and controlling pH, important for maintaining healthy baby skin. Why is Tin Ultra Pampers the diaper these professionals have accepted? 
because it's the only diaper with a lock-away core that actually takes wetness and locks it inside the diaper. So effectively, you can't even squeeze it out. So even when they're wet, they're dry. Look for this seal and statement only on new Ultra Pampers. Even when they're wet, they're dry. Steve, you sure you won't stay and have a little dessert? Oh, come on. Um, no, I, I really want to get home. Um, but thank you for dinner. It was oh, you're great. Welcome. You're welcome. You know, I, I just want you uh, to remember that you and Betsy have everything, and it's all going to be okay. Well, I hope so. Yeah, well, don't hope. You do something about it. Make it right. Well, thank you for the advice. I, uh, I'm going to take it. Well, come on. Good luck. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you thank you. Bye-bye. Lily? I'm so glad you can make it tonight. I am, too. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. My mother has something else better to do, you know? <laughs> oh, well, why don't you invite her over for dessert? Oh, uh, no, that's okay. I don't think so. Oh, I'm sure she'd enjoy it, really. Then that way you guys could talk on the way back. Why don't you call her, Lily? I don't know, Dusty. I was going to send Ben back home. I was going to hoping you would drive me home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I was right. You should call your mom. Well, I thought it was funny. All right, darling, what can I get you to drink? I don't have time, Lucinda. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, what's that? Mom, I don't know if you care or not, but I went to the Snyder farm to have dinner with them. Don't worry about me, okay? Lily. What is it? Lily. Oh, Ambrose, I don't know what's the matter with me. I really don't. I mean, I should have stayed home tonight, shouldn't I? I should have had supper with my daughter, my baby. But I just couldn't resist all that excitement at Diana's. Lucinda, how did you know that woman was going to be arrested tonight? Oh, Ambrose. I'm a newspaper woman, and I have my sources. <laughs> well, I'd better go and bail out your reporters. Oh, yes. All right, darling. And then we'll talk about the will in the morning, all right? I don't think you need worry about the will, as she is not talking to you at the moment. No, never mind. I want Sierra to get what's coming to her, all right? And if anything should happen to me, you destroy anything pertaining to Martin Guest. Lucinda, that's the second time tonight you've talked about if anything should happen to me. What's the matter? You're perfectly fit, aren't you? Well, yes, I am. But I just have a kind of feeling that something's... something's going to happen. <laughs> and I, I couldn't be truthful with Sierra because of the phone calls. Those phone calls have been coming for months and nothing's happened yet. I know, but I just have a feeling. Now, don't you forget... You are my mouthpiece. You will explain everything to both those girls. <laughs> Lucinda, you're exhausted. You must have a good night's sleep. Take care of yourself. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll let myself out. Yes, you will. You definitely. <laughs> good night, I want to stay here, Dad. Mom just told me she was going to have a baby. Mm -hmm. I want to be here to help her. All right, fine. You just seemed rather upset to me. No, I, I wasn't upset. I was surprised. Look, Andrew, I don't want to force you into doing anything. But it seems to me that Franny's going through a very difficult period right now. I, I know. I, I want to help her, too. Dad, I'm not a little kid anymore, and I do not need to be protected. All right, I Andrew. know what's going on. All right. I only want what's best for you. I thought you might like to spend a little time with Dustin and myself. I do. On the weekends, maybe. But right now, I, I want to stay with Mom. Well, okay, if you feel that strongly about it. I do. Okay, fine. But no hard feelings? There are no hard feelings. Of course there are no hard feelings. But, Andrew, if something comes along that you can't handle, you give me a call, will you please? Good night, Bob. Good night. Good night, John. Come on over here and sit down. <laughs> be careful now. Oh, my oh, word, I boy. will be. <laughs> I'm so glad about this. I'm so shocked, but I'm glad. Oh, honey, oh, I tell you, I just hope this child makes me half as proud as you do. Thanks, Thanks. 
Listen, I'm going to get you something to eat. You want something? No, not right now. Thanks very much. We'll get something later. Okay. Thanks, though. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Thanks, darling. I think that my son is growing up. Like he said, he loves you. Mm. Like I do. Mm. You tired? Golly, no. I, I really feel pretty good. What about you? Oh, I was just thinking what Andy said about not wanting to be protected, having things kept from him. People love each other sometimes. They make that mistake. Like, why didn't you tell me about the baby? Oh, honey. I really just didn't want to worry you while you were away. That's all. I had a right to know. It's my baby, too. So what do you say from uh, now on? No more secrets. Whatever comes up, we face it together, okay? You're quiet. Don't you agree? Oh, you know I do. Secrets can destroy a marriage. Yes, I know this coming. 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 Why spend time wondering? In just 30 minutes, you can get an accurate answer to a very important question with Advance Home Pregnancy Test. Only Advance has this unique color stick. A color change to blue means you're pregnant. No color change, you're not. Advance is that simple, that accurate. And the color stick makes the answer easy to read. So no matter what the result, it lets you be positive. Advance, the easy way to know for sure. Beyond this door is a rug so dirty, it's a horror show. But we cleaned half of this heavy traffic area with Woolite Spray Foam to get out deep, ground-in dirt. Turn a horror show into a rug you're proud to show with Woolite Rug Cleaner. Why am I standing here holding this can of Butterflavor Pam? Soybeans? Nature's soybean helps make Butterflavor Pam cooking spray the low-fat, low-calorie, delicious, buttery way to cook. Buy some. Butterflavor Pam. This Friday, a time traveler finds out what might have happened if John Kennedy had lived. Twilight Zone. And on Dallas, Trouble in Paradise. Please listen to me. You must leave Martinique. With J.R., the target. Then on Falcon Crest, what price to hide a double life? Cherry, I don't understand this. Who are these men? They seem to know you pretty well. Tuesday Live, it's the 12th Annual People's Choice Awards. America picks the winners. Join your favorites, over 50 stars, with host John Denver. Tuesday. Stay tuned for Captain. Next on most of these CBS stations.